Hello students and welcome to Rishi Computer Education. Today we are going to start with CSS. So in our first session we will see the introduction to CSS3 and types of CSS. Let's start with CSS. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is used to style your web pages including design, layout and variations in display for different devices and screen size. CSS saves lot of work. So uh, let's see the syntax for CSS that is how to define CSS. First it comes the selector and in selector you have to define the property property and its value semicolon. So here selector means it can be anything like your tags such as h1 table div anything next property it act as attribute all the attributes are converted into properties of css like borders color etc then comes value value are given to the properties like uh, we can say color value such as red green okay now we will see with the example so here I am taking h1, I am writing hello world. Now I want to style this hello world text. So for that I will take style attribute and in that style attribute I will use the property color so that I can give text, I can give color to my text. So color I am giving is red. Save the document let's see the output here you can see the text color has been converted to red so we define css properties like this as i said uh, css saves a lot of work that is it saves our time we can write our css code once and then use it in a uh, multiple html pages next is it uh, using CSS our page load uh, is faster using CSS no need to write HTML tag attribute every time write the one CSS rule for that tag and apply it to all the tags that occurs so uh, there are three types of CSS that is inline internal and external let's see with the examples what does inline means in line I have already taken one example of hello world in h1 I have written hello world so if I am using a style attribute to style my text or um, any div element the, it is called inline CSS you just need to write the your code next to the text this is the example of inline now if I want internal css if i want to use internal css so for that i am first using h2 in h2 i am giving text as welcome to rishi online buddhi text close now internal css means if i am using a style tag to style my document or style my any element that is called as internal so internally I will have to take the element suppose I want to style my h2 so for h2 I will write the color property so color property I am giving is green okay let's save the document and see the output here you can see internal CSS also has applied next is external external means a separate file is created for styling so here i am creating one new file with the name of style.css okay i have created new file now in my html file i am defining h3 and i am giving text as hello friends 
my h3 is hello friends now i want to apply the external css to this so i will just write h3 and color of that text should be blue just save and here in head you will have to give link so for link we use for that you just need to type link and after typing link click on tab button on your keyboard you here you will see now in href i'll write style dot css save the document and see here you can see hello friend is in blue color as we have used the external file so this was the short introduction about the css with this we end up the session thank you